welcome to today's video. Those of you that are new to my channel, hi, my name is Maria, and today I'm going to be trying out the new Viseart eyeshadow palette. It's from their Etendo range, and it is the Soleil La Plage palette. It is their 12 pan one. It has 1.5 grams of product per each pan. And this has a very long description on the Viseart website of what this palette is about. But basically, the Soleil La Plage is sun and beach. So it's a palette to give all those gorgeous, warm summer feelings and a beautiful, bright look to the eyes. And even though it's autumn going into winter here in New Zealand, I still wanted to buy this palette. I love the Viseart formula. And I want to have some bright sunny colors on an overcast autumn day. And here is the Viseart palette. One of the shadows did come, it was slightly damaged. It was the deeper brown color, I think, and it went into a couple of other shadows. But hopefully it won't affect it too much. And I've ordered quite a few eyeshadows from Viseart. And this is the first time that I've had one come and a shadow has been slightly damaged. So here is the inside of the palette. I haven't swatched any of these yet or touched them. Just really, really beautiful summery colors. Now in this palette is a mixture of mattes and metallics and a duochrome. And on the website it says they've tweaked the formula to give even more depth to their colors. So this is the color here that came slightly damaged. It's not really a biggie, it's just slightly you can see at the top but it just caused like I said a bit of the powder to get mixed on the other shades but hopefully it won't affect that too much so I am going to swatch these I will swatch four at a time and I'll put them on the back of my hand I'm going to start with the top row first from left to right so the first couple of shades are very pale but the first one is citronade and that's a pale lemon with a matte finish and then the next one is Luminaire and that's a creamy yellow highlight with a deep satin metallic finish and then third is Cove and that's peachy with a satin metallic finish and the fourth one is a plage and that's a neutral nectarine with a matte finish then on the second row we have the color Pamir and it's a soft yellow gold with a satin metallic finish then we have C, which is a soft sea blue with a duochrome finish. And then is Parasol, it has a red undertone satin with a duochrome finish. And then we have Sun Grown, which is described as a gold finch yellow with notes of red duochrome. And for the fourth and final row, we have Ananas, which is a bright mustard yellow in a matte finish. Then we have a bronzage, which is a perfect bronze nectarine with a satin metallic finish. Then we have raffia, which is a sandy medium neutral brown with a matte finish. And finally is the color driftwood, which is a warm deep brown with a matte finish. All of these shadows went beautifully on my hand when I swatched them. Of course, it can always be a little bit different when I put them on my eyelids. But usually with the Viseart formula, I'm normally fairly impressed with it. They normally have a beautiful, soft formula. They give great payoff and they also last really well on the lid. So I haven't actually thought exactly what I'm going to do with these colors, but I really love the yellow and the reds I think that's really beautiful but I think I will start off with just a very light neutral color this one here and go over the lid with that and I'm going to use the Rafa number 15 brush this would have to be one of my most used brushes the Rafa number 15 I have two of them because I just use them so much So next I'm going to go into this yellow shade here and use my other 
Rafa number 15 brush and just start to add a bit of colour into the crease and just above. I didn't come here to worry, I didn't come here to care. But the light, the light, the look in your eyes, the look in my eyes. Uh, the colors are going on really really beautifully but I want to give more color than that light yellow I just put on so I'm going to take my Rafa number 14 brush and go into this mustard color down here and put that in the crease as well but also working above there is a bit of kick up when you put your brush in It's a really gorgeous colour. I haven't really worked much with yellows before, but I quite like it. I think I'm always worried that things might start to look a bit crazy, but it usually works out. But at this stage, I think it looks really, really pretty, and the eyeshadow formula is blending out beautifully. I do want to add a bit more depth into the crease. So I'm going to take the Sonia G Crease 1 brush and first I'll try this shade here and see if that gives enough depth. If not, I may go to that shade, but I'm going to try this one first. Taking the Rafa number one brush, I'm going to go into this deepest dark brown matte shade here and just put a small amount in the outer corner. take my Sonia G Builder Pro brush and go into the shade here and put that over the rest of my lid. This shade looks really, really gorgeous. shade that I just put on my eyelid then is absolutely stunning. It is such a gorgeous shade. I don't think I have an eyeshadow in my collection that is this color. It's really, really beautiful. So I am going to add a little bit of highlight to the inner corner of my eye and I'm going to use this shade here. And I'm going to take my Rafa number three brush and go back into this darker color here and line under my eyes. And I'm just going to give this same brush a bit of a wipe on towel and front of me just to take off that pigment and I'm going to go back into this shade and just go slightly over the shadow that I've just put on. I'm just going to stick to the outer part of the eye though. And I think the shade here is dark enough 
to line my upper lash line. So I'm going to do that now and I'm going to use the Hourglass number 10 brush for that. So I do think that darkest shade for the eyeshadow is enough for my upper eye line. I think it's given quite a bit of depth and looks really, really good. These colours are gorgeous. They remind me of a tropical sunset. They're absolutely beautiful. So now I'm going to do my lashes and I'll curl my lashes first. And here is the finished look. I didn't know where I was going to begin when I first saw this palette and when I started the video, but I'm loving the colours that I chose. I just think they're absolutely stunning. I haven't been disappointed from a Viseart palette yet and today is no exception. The colours just have lots of pigment, they blended beautifully. You know, especially when you have more mature skin on your eyelids, some shadows can be really difficult to blend. These weren't. They're just really, really beautiful. And I'm really looking forward to trying out some more looks with this palette. This blue here looks absolutely stunning as I swatched it before, but it's just so, so pretty. And I think you could do another really gorgeous look with that as well. So this palette really does live up to its name. You know, beach and sun, it looks absolutely stunning. And the look that I've created, like I said, reminds me of a tropical sunset. You could do even more lighter look and give a look of being by the sea and more sort of balmy days. But a really gorgeous colour story and I'm thrilled I picked up this palette. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!